Hello friends, uh, good to be with you again. Uh, you can see I'm still dressed up having just uh, celebrated uh, the Eucharist here on, on Sunday. And I thought I'd stay in my vestments today simply because it's the last of the ordinary Sundays of this liturgical year. So I'm, the last time I'll be wearing green for some time. Next Sunday is the end of our liturgical year in the beautiful feast of Christ the Universal King. And I thought we'd film inside also because you can see over my shoulder here the great window of our cathedral of St. Patrick's. And at the centre of that window is Christ crucified and glorified who comes in like the sun coming from the east. The sun, S-O-N, coming from the east with the gift of uh, salvation for us. He is truly our universal king. And differently from, uh, from a very long time now, I'm, I'm actually going to invite someone else to be in part of this uh, little recording today. And there's a reason for that too. So if I can introduce to you Tiffany Davis, who is the manager of communications for the Archdiocese of Melbourne. And Tiffany, over uh, nearly a year now, has been working with her team and with the mission team in Proclaim to redevelop our Archdiocesan website. And I thought I'd share with you a little bit of uh, what the intention of the website is and to encourage you to, to go and have a look at it. But firstly, Tiffany, you know that I, my instruction to you was to don't make it some sort of bland, informational uh, sort of website that's static and doesn't go anywhere. You look at it and who cares after mm -hmm. that. I really wanted it to be uh, alive as a tool of evangelisation. So tell me how you've tried to capture that in the website. Sure. Um, it was a wonderful project to work on and I should say it's not finished. It's an ongoing project. Um, really at the start of the project we wanted to capture something of the life, the, the life of the Archdiocese through its people, through its mission. And so that's something that from the start we want it to be a collaborative project, so working with the Proclaim team, with IT, with our web developer and with the wider community to capture something of the life of the Archdiocese. So that's what we've tried to do. Um, as I say, it's an ongoing project, so the way that the website has been built and uh, the way that the, it works is not so much just a here you go, here's a static page, it's an ongoing conversation and that's really the, the mission uh, that you've given us uh, and that we've tried to enact. And indeed, uh, Tiff, there was um, any number of separate websites that have now been uh, brought into under this, this one that's banner right. of the website. and. Um, and it looks different from a lot of other, particularly the older websites, mm. which had these banners, which were just bits of information. Uh, and the banners now themselves describe something different about this conversation. So what were you trying to uh, bring about by doing that? Sure. Well, I guess one of the things that we wanted to do with this website was not to assume any knowledge. So whether you're, you have been a lifelong Catholic or you're new to the faith, or you're just interested, uh, we wanted to be able to capture anyone on that spectrum. So the way that it's presented, the way the information is presented, uh, is really something about the invitation of Jesus to each of us. It's about that personal relationship and then how you might live that through our community and the community of faith here in Melbourne. So it's not just images and static information, it's again, it's that conversation of faith that we would like people to be part of. And indeed it's a way of uh, welcoming and That's allowing right. people to engage uh, rather than being passive, but being active, and, that, and that's terrific. Of course, evangelisation, folks, can happen in all sorts of different ways. Uh, we have our, the ways that we've perhaps been used to uh, in the past, but there's newer ways as well that we uh, can engage in bringing people to share in the life of Jesus Christ and to uh, share in the life of God's community in, in the Catholic Church. So I commend the website to you. Go and have a look at it. Uh, it's www.melbournecatholic.org, www.melbournecatholic.org. Uh, we've also got our Instagram accounts, our Facebook accounts, our Twitter accounts, uh, all of them are linked in with this uh, new endeavour as well. So until next week, may the Lord be with you and your family and fill you with his tenderness.